This is the tallest human being on planet Earth, and he stands at a whopping eight feet four inches, has the world's largest hands, and wears a shoe size 39. His name is Sultan Kulsan. And as a young child reading the Guinness Book of World Records, I would see Sultan, and every time I did, I said, Mom, Dad, it would be crazy to spend a day in his life, see what it's actually like. What does he do every day? How do people react when they see him? And who is Sultan? And 20 years later, I made it a mission to travel across the world to spend a day with the world's smallest woman, conjoined twins, and now we are here to spend a day with the world's tallest man. And this is One Day, One Life. As the day was getting closer and closer to seeing Sultan, I began getting more and more nervous. I had no idea what to expect. He was the only one out of 7.9 billion human beings that was this tall. Hello, good morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome everybody, come in. Good morning. <laughs> oh, man. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Fine. Thank you. <laughs> Come this one. Sit. Okay. Come in breakfast. Oh, man. Thank you. How old are you? 40 yaşında. 40. Okay. 40 yaşında. I'm a young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you look young. You look young. You look young. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every day when Sultan wakes up, him and his family sit on the ground and have a massively delicious Turkish breakfast. And it was Turkish breakfast on another level. You pretty hungry? Yes, I am hungry. Yeah. Is this what you eat in a day? <laughs> yes, yes. Every day this one. That's awesome. That's awesome. My brother. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> Good to meet you. And when I say Sultan has massive hands, they are the same length of a foot long measuring stick, while the world's smallest woman's hands are literally the size of a ping pong ball. Wow. He also had brain cancer just like I did, and I had it right here on my head. Where did he have it on his head? At nine years old, Sultan began having complications in his growth very quickly. He began getting taller and taller, and it didn't end. And after this, the tumor was discovered in his frontal lobe. İşte ailem beni doktora götürdü. Doktor kontrol eden sonra şöyle hipofiz bezlerimde tümör vardı. Sultan has been in the Guinness Book World Records for 15 years. But one thing that I didn't even know until I met Sultan was that he's been married for 10 years. So how did you meet your wife? Ben benim işte tanıştık bu. Orada yani yakındı. Orada görünce hani konuşunca iş biraz daha ileriye gidiyor. İşte o arada evlendik, tanıştık yani ne bileyim evlendik. Yes go. Şimdi sizlere işte kıyafetlerimi, giyme odamı, ayakkabılarımı dur dur dur. That's crazy. So these are his clothes. You can see. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Looks pretty good. It's so crazy. <laughs> Look at this. I have big, big feet. <laughs> Logan, Logan. Logan. Çok karışmış, bunu ötürlemen lazım. Benim yerime yapar mısın şu an? Ya. Orada. <gülüyor> Look at this thing. Wait, so how does it connect? Is it... <gülüyor> Yok, çok yanlış yapıyorsun. Okay, okay. Teach me, teach me. <gülüyor> çek it, çek, çek, çek. Perfect. Please. I'll start working for you as your ironer. I'm good, I'm good. <gülüyor> He's got really good style. Yakıştı mı? He looks perfect. Let's go drink coffee. Let's do it. Before meeting Sultan, I've been so curious how the public reacts and what it's like for him to be in a public setting. So we made our way to his favorite cafe to grab some coffee. And when we got there, the party just began. How the boys? Gerçekten. Adın ne? Adım İhsan Akutkoğlu. İhsan. 
Çok yemek yedim, çok süt içtim. Anne babayla sözünü dinledim ve boyum uzadı. Now when I say people want photos, I mean people genuinely want photos. It turned into one kid, then two, then mothers, then fathers, then families, and it went on and on. We're about to arm wrestle. Let's see who wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, do this one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> a lot stronger than I thought. <laughs> and after we had a coffee at the cafe, Sultan decided he wanted to go play a game that I have never seen before. So here they play a lot of games, and men just come here and hang out all day. So it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Yani çok zevk alıyorum bu oyun oynamaktan ve kimse beni yenemez. Elindeki perleri yere indirmesi söyler sonra kendi indirsin. We're about to see if we win a uh, deal. I feel like we're playing poker in Las Vegas right now. <laughs> I think we're winning right now, but the game is just started. <laughs> Don't show that. Uh, Don't show that. Gotcha. Oh, trade it. Okay, gotcha. So he won. Oh. All right, Sultan the champ. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> and after Sultan beat us every time in his game, he wanted to go to lunch and grab his favorite Turkish kebabs. So it's lunchtime here, hanging out, eating lunch with the world's tallest man. Let's see what he eats. <laughs> mm. So what do we got here? What are we eating for lunch? Chili. Chili? Yes, we got chili. Kebab. Too much chili. Oh, it's yogurt. Wow. Yogurt. Bayra, this one food. Good. Good. You want drink? Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm trying some good yogurt. Wow. That is super rich, yeah. Very good. You. Thank you. Okay. Super good. As we were eating, I noticed that Sultan's hands are so big that it was a challenge to pick up a fork and even use his phone like you and I have no problem doing. But what's so interesting is that Jyoti and Sultan have the complete opposite perspective on the functionality of eating food and using a phone. Bak buranın da özel bir farkı kapları çok büyük. Bak kapları çok büyük. Kafamı çarpmıyorum. İşte ben size bu su dedim ya hayat simgesini anım. Çocuk, gençlik ve ölüm. Yüz yıllardır bu su akıp gidiyor. Bir de çok şifalı bir su diyorlar. Bilmiyorum bu su nereden geliyor, kaynağı neresi ama şifalı diyorlar. Bu suyu içen benim gibi güzel oluyor ve boyu uzatıyor. <gülüyor> Can anybody drink it? Yes, dur ben içelim. Ay ay ay ay. ay. Sultan surprisingly bought me a ring to wear that I will never forget. This is my signature Mardine watch. I'll never forget. <laughs> what type of emotions do you feel? Do you ever get super happy, super sad, stressed? Nothing. How do you usually feel? Yani çok mutlu olduğum zaman sevincimi insanlarla paylaşıyorum ve çok özgün olduğum zaman yalnız kalmak istiyorum. Spending a day with the world's tallest man was one of the most eye-opening experiences that I will never forget. The world sees how tall he is, they see his fame, and they see his record streak. In the world that we live in, sees people like Sultan, Jyoti, conjoined twins, surgeons, astronauts, and many more with the thoughts of, wow, they live an easy life, and it's nothing but fun. But everything has a cost, and the cost of Sultan's height makes it difficult for him to do the regular things that you and I do every day and rarely express any 
gratitude towards, such as being able to use our phones, walk normally, put our shoes on, and simply being seen as a regular human being in a public setting. And there's one thing that I will never forget after spending a day with Sultan, and he said it himself, I'm a regular human being that was thrown obstacles. I have stress, I have happiness, I have sadness, I have pain, and I have hobbies, and I have a regular life. And society doesn't see that in a world record book. They see it here with you and me spending a regular day in my life. And comment what is a day in the life that you would like to see.